research suggests that young people's brains are far more susceptible to damage from cell phone radiation than adult brains. And critics are calling on parents and teachers to restrict the time kids spend texting and phoning. Here to comment is 22 Minutes teen correspondent Mark Jackson. So Mark, do kids at your school believe cell phones cause brain damage? Um, well, for myself, I would have to say yes, because I've actually noticed some personally. Your cell phone gave you brain damage? Oh, um, no, not mine. Um, the Sky Daryl Anderson's. He, like, came up behind me in the cafeteria and, like, hit me in the head with it. Ow. Do you think your brain was actually damaged? Well, ever since, like, I do seem to have, like, a harder, um, time finding, like, what's the word? Oh, yeah, words? <laughs> Well, why did he hit you? Oh, he like overheard me and my friend Jack Papineau like talking about how we don't own cell phones and then he like called me like a loser and then just hit me. So I guess in a weird way, not having a cell phone could also give you brain damage. Wow. So uh, I gather it's not very socially acceptable to be a teen without a cell these days. Yeah, like most of the kids here, they like call and text each other all day long, even if they're just like sitting right next to each other. And then as soon as they get home, they just call and text some more. They say like without it, they couldn't keep like in close contact with their friends. Wow, others do it, but how do you keep in close contact with your friends? Um, well, at the moment it isn't like that hard because after Daryl Anderson hit me in the head, he like um, duct taped me Jack Papineau together. <laughs> oh, you want me to call someone? Oh, uh, could you? Because like I don't have a cell phone. Right. <laughs>